Merry Christmas to everybody and a happy Tuesday. Oh my word. Get yourself some coffee, tea, lunch, dinner, breakfast, snacks, something. Because y'all, I got to catch up with everybody. Before we begin, I'm going to show a couple cards that came in. Um, they may have come in before Christmas. I just, with my, my mom, came here. For those of you who don't know, my mom, we brought her home with us the day after Thanksgiving. And I took her home on January 3rd, I think it was. Um, so I wasn't regularly going to the post office and such, so I got this lovely card from Sharon and May. There's a little oval sticker on the back, a seal, that's gold, and it has a church and a snowy scene. It's really beautiful. And this is the card they sent me. The magic of Christmas is not in the presence, but in His presence, wishing peace on earth to all this Christmas season. Thank you so very much, Sharon and May. That was so very kind of you. And I have one more card that came in. Let me put this in the envelope. From Suzanne in Australia at Baby Bunting Nursery. And I wanted to show y'all. Let me cover my address. Um, I love stamps from other countries. You see that Australian stamp there? Isn't that beautiful? It is... I'm trying to see. It just says Australia. Oh, it said, what does it say there? something post. Anyway, it's beautiful. It has, um, it's almost like a stained glass look to it, but it is, um, I don't know if that's an angel playing a, a, a leer, like a little guitar looking thing and another lady. It's beautiful. But I also wanted to show you their postmark. You see there's a little guy, uh, it's all black ink, a little guy on a motorcycle. It says there's a life riding on it. I love that there's like a public service announcement on their postmark. Anyway, so this is the beautiful card from Suzanne. We all know she loves glitter. Isn't that beautiful? There is a deer, and then the trees and the snow and flowers are all glittery, and there's a little bird up there. And the card says, Greetings of the Season, and she put this beautiful little heart ornament in there, which I'm going to now that I've shown it, I'm going to move it with my Christmas ornaments, and I will put that on my tree every year. So thank you so very much, Suzanne and Sharon and May. That was so kind of you. Uh, the past few years, I have sent out photo cards, many of you know, um, but this year I opted to do a photo video. So for those of you who have not seen it, I will link it at the end of this video. Um, that was my Christmas card to everybody. Um, but while I talk, I'm going to change a couple babies. First up is Prince, uh, Princess, uh, Princess, oh, bite my tongue, Queen Isabella. Good thing she's sleeping. Queen Isabella, and they are still, other than Malachi, because Malachi wore the little snowman set that I have, um, so I took that off him. But everybody else is in what they wore for the Christmas photos, and a um, little behind the scenes, this was just put over the outfit she had on. Oh, she's been snug as a bug, let me tell you. That's a little behind the scenes. But anyway, I'm going to change her. Her hair is an absolute mess. And uh, I'm just going to try to get caught up on, with every everybody on everything here. Um, I'm sure you can figure I'm way behind on videos. I'm just starting to get back into the swing. It's taken me um, last week. So I drove my mom home on a Wednesday and uh, so maybe it was the second because wasn't the first on Tuesday anyway whatever that Wednesday was after the new year I drove her home and that night I had dinner with a friend and then the next day I drove into the city to see the twins I used to nanny for and then that evening we had family Christmas with my brother and my nephews and their significant others one of them is married one is engaged um, so they all came, and then Friday I headed home. So it was kind of a whirlwind couple of days. Um, and then my husband worked that weekend, so I kind of got ahead on my chores that weekend, which threw my whole last week off. Um, Y'all know I am a stickler for routine, and so it was a little... Oh, maybe these socks will work. We'll see. It, I was a little off, so yesterday I got back to my normal Monday. Today I've done, my, I have not ironed yet. 
Um, I actually, one of my Christmas gifts from my husband, bless him, we had gone a couple years ago back when we lived in Texas. My husband loves drones. And there's this fabulous drone store we used to go to. And they had this thing there called an Osmo, which is a gimbal. And now they're on the second generation, I guess, because it's called Osmo 2. Anyway, I had looked at it and thought it was really cool. It's for balancing your phone. Um, for taking videos, and my husband had said, oh, this would be great, because, you know, my videos, you know, when I'm panning around the room can be a bit much. And so, anyway, he got me that for Christmas. So, um, what it did not come with was the charging cable, which I thought was so weird. So, I had to order that. So, got it all charged up and everything, balanced my phone on it, and I just have not had time to make a video. Oh, I'm putting her in little blue jeans that have um, little embroidered flowers all over in brown, yellow, like a... Oh, that blue just left my brain. That blue has a name. Anyway, I believe it's Narchi. Is this Narchi? Yeah, Narchi Kids. Size 3 to 6 months, which is kind of big for her, but we'll make it work. You'll see. Um, anyway, she's worn this before. And then the shirt is like a long swing top that is, uh, yeah, see, I've got the sleeves rolled in, um, in the yellow and gray and that cornflower blue. There we go. There it is. Um, kind of weird, not weird, but little floral patterns on the sleeves and then some geometric patterns and daisies and about an inch at an angle of lace. So it's just a really pretty outfit. Um, Anyway, so I was super excited to make my first video with it today. He also got me the tripod for it. <clears throat> so I had it all set up, and it will turn on, but then it kind of tips, and it said on the screen that my phone was not balanced. <clears throat> so I went through the whole balancing again and got it, because I just thought it would stay set, but what it was, the, the gimbal part was fine. I had not put my phone in the exact position I had the other day when I balanced it. So I got it all set up, and for whatever reason, when I turn it on, it comes on, and then it, it stays on because there's an app you have to work through, but then the phone kind of tips to the side, and I can't get the joystick or anything to work. So uh, my guess is I just put an SOS out to my uh, technical guru sister. Uh, my guess is that particular app may need a bit more internet than I get down here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I work in my basement and this room is in my basement. Oh, let me put it on my lap, ladies, for just a second. Um, where's my brush? Um, there, that's better. Um, and I don't get cell service down here at all. It says no service on my phone. And my phone upstairs, there's one place I can sit in my kitchen to text. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes I have to go get my computer and text through there. And again, a lot of times it'll say does not send. And other times I somehow get lucky and it works. And I don't know. I haven't figured out the the rhyme or reason to it. I'm going to put this big gray headband on her. I love this on her. Um, so, all right, let me go lay the queen down and get who's up next is, uh, Isabella. Not as, oh, Lord. Ladies, I just can't, this is Queen Isabella. Okay. I've been away too long. Abigail is next. Okay. Let me put the queen down. Um, so anyway, I, you know, I don't really get service down here, so I don't know if it is a matter of that requires more service. Well, I don't get any service down here. Um, so if that's the case, I'll just have to hang on to it. Because y'all know we move. I won't be here forever. Because <laughs> I really, really like it a lot. And what I've done upstairs with it, like practicing, I really enjoy how it works. So, hello, Abigail. Let's get you into something a little warmer. Um, so anyway, oh, that, the, the, the crochet gown I took off of Queen Isabella was made by Debbie of Reborn Blessed, and this dress and headband was, were made by April of, well, are you still Toto? No, I think she's April's page. Um, 
So anyway, um, so I was not able to, I'm using my old, old faithful here till I get it all figured out. Um, I spent about an hour and a half just now, hour maybe, and I reached my limit of my knowledge of working with that. I'm not very savvy with stuff like that. I'm great with cameras, but all these, you know, let me leave on her little... What do y'all call this? Suzanne sent me these little t-shirts. I love these, but they call we call them little sleeveless t-shirts, but they call them something else. Suzanne, you're going to have to remind me down below because they have a name different to what we call them. Um, so anyway, so I was unable to make that happen for today, but I know I've had people mention before that my movements are a bit dizzying. So, um, hopefully I can get that working, but I also, I don't normally record with my phone. I've, a couple of my little bird videos that I've added at the end have been with my phone. Um, but I've heard some of y'all say that, oh, I got to stop because I can't keep going on my phone. So I also need to look into that if there's a limit, but anyway, back to my updates. So let's see. Christmas was absolutely fabulous. It was my mother, my husband, and myself. We had a glorious time. We all had new Christmas jammies. Um, my husband actually worked on Christmas Eve, so I opted to do all the cooking that day. And then that evening, we had the big Christmas meal. Um, you know, the turkey, mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, uh, corn casserole, mashed potatoes and gravy, broccoli slaw, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. I also made um, a honey, oh, was it a honey spice cake? And a, and that one of, one of the cakes had vanilla icing, one had a cream cheese icing. I made a vanilla spice, no, I made a, oh, I don't know. I forget now, ladies. It was so long ago. So much has happened. Anyway, I made two cakes. <laughs> And um, we really, so we enjoyed that. We um, had kind of a late lunch, I guess I'll say. And then we went to the um, Christmas Eve service and then came home and had our cake. So it was lovely. And then on Christmas morning, um, after breakfast, we did our stockings and we saved our gifts until evening. Um, so the tree was all nice and bright and, and lovely. So we really had a great Christmas. It was really nice. And just, you know, being together and enjoying each other's company was the best part of it all. Um, and of course, you know, the reason for Christmas is Jesus' birthday. And we, we never, ever forget that. We always make one of the cakes is Jesus' birthday cake. She is wearing, um, Abigail is wearing a... Hannah Anderson outfit. The the leggings are turquoise, and at the bottom there's about an inch of several rows of turquoise lace. I paired it with hot pink socks because the sweater dress has hot pink and light pink stripes at the bodice with a diagonal blue and around the collar. All of this is knit, and then there's one, two, three hot pink buttons going down the blue diagonal. They're actually working buttons, and there's a little bow at the top of that on her shoulder. And the sleeves um, have turquoise, kind of textured, and then there's an overlay that's hot pink with triangles and orange, turquoise, purple, lime green, white. And then that same pattern goes down the skirt part, and it goes all the way to her ankles. Bless her. Let's do your hair, darling. I'm going to... Give you a little brush and then zhuzh those curls. So anyway, so that was lovely. And then um, my mom and I really enjoyed our time together. Um, I did, as y'all saw, I finished Jemina. Um, I got her finished while my mom was here, but I did put aside um, the other babies I'm working on. So right now I'm working on two babies. One is a peaceful baby and one is a baby that has a list. And I'm back to painting. I started painting again last week, and it was just so wonderful. I didn't get a lot in um, at the beginning, but as the week went on, I was able to get quite a bit of painting in last week. It was just so wonderful. I really, really missed my creative time. Although I did do some crocheting while my mom was here. Uh, we enjoyed watching some movies together, and she crocheted and I crocheted. She did some knitting as well. 
Um, so we did enjoy working on some projects together. And um, we did quite a bit of shopping. I have a hatchback car, ladies, that when I went home, not when I went home, when I took my mom home, that whole hatchback was so full, y'all. Um, I had a little pilot's case, a tiny little, not even a carry-on size, just this tiny little pilot's case, because again, I was only there for a couple days, and my computer. And because um, my computer will fit into the pilot's case, but my computer case, I have a case for my older computer that I still use, which was a bigger computer. And uh, so I like to carry it in the case just, you know, for protection purposes. I'm putting this headband on her, which is just lace that I clipped a turquoise hair bow onto to make it work. <laughs> she doesn't have enough hair really to put the clip on, so we're doing that. Oh, Miss Abigail. So anyway, um, but we did quite a bit of shopping, of course, resale shops, and then we have, um, we went to Marshalls and Target and Walmart and some other little local Hallmark antique shops, etc., etc. Oh, okay. There we go. There's Miss Abigail. Mwah. You're so sweet. This is my husband's little girl, for those of you who don't know. Um, so, let me get, I'm going to change one more baby, and that is Juliet. Because the other babies, I think, what they're wearing is not Christmas per se. And, um, I think they're all dressed warm enough. So... We're going to take Juliet out of this beautiful dress. This was actually a gift from Amanda at Little Reborn Princess. And Little Miss Juliet says, Hi, Mama Judy. She was a gift to me from Judy at Bloyer Babies. Hi, Judy. Um, anyway, so what was I saying? Um, yeah, so we, you know, my car was packed to the gills. But we had a very, very lovely time, and as I said, she was here through New Year's. Again, we, you know, just stayed home. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it till midnight. I was not feeling well, um, but I, we did, and so that was nice. And then, um, so New Year's Day, we just relaxed because we were making the trip home the next day. So that was really nice. Um, let's see, what else? I have seen Mary Poppins. Okay. You want to talk about a joy bubble, ladies? So, I had wanted to see it. I'm, I'm frugal, for those of you who don't know. Um, I, I like to save when I can. And so, I'm going to put uh, Juliet in this really cute little next outfit. It has very pale pink leggings that have little pin dots of hearts that are upside down and right side up all over. And a little swing top that's white with some little French knots all over it. And then there's little French knots on the chest of flowers in pale pink. And then there's blue and green and a little pink bow with a white button. And it has a little Peter Pan collar. I love this outfit. Um, so anyway, um, here on Tuesday is $5 movie day. And so, of course, Christmas fell on a Tuesday, as did New Year's. So we were, you know, here celebrating. So last Tuesday, um, my husband did try to get off and go with me, but he could not, sadly. But I decided to go alone. And I, I, I had some errands to do, which I wanted to do beforehand, because the first showing of the movie was going to have me getting out just after 6. So I knew by then he'd probably be on his way home or already home, so I didn't want to be running errands after the fact. So I ran my errands, and I got there just in the nick, I'll tell you, which is not my favorite thing. I like to, I love to see the, the previews and have a little minute to get myself organized. But I didn't want to wait for the next showing, so I asked, you know, how far in, and he said, you'll just make the beginning of the movie. So, But I, while I was in line, because it's $5 a day, there was a line, and I noticed this sign that was talking about this new seating that you can book online, and it's a dollar fifty up cost. I'm like, oh darn! I wish I'd have known about that because it was just a picture. But I'm like, that looks like a really nice seat. So 
I go, I go up there to pay, and I notice next to Mary Poppins it has these same three letters that are on that poster. So he charged, he says it's six fifty. So I'm like, and I had to pick my seat right there, which I've done before. I've in Europe and when I lived in London, we did that. And then um, also in Ethiopia, you have to do that. Um, pick your movie right there. I mean, not your movie, pick your seat. That's, that's a new thing here in the States for those of you who, I know everywhere else people live, they've always done that. And they're thinking, wow, y'all don't do that. So anyway, I picked my seat, which was H. Eight, because H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. I know. Um, but it was the last row, and I like to sit right in the center. And all the center seats were taken except that row, so it was perfect. But I got in there. Not only are they deluxe and really big leather seats that recline, they also heat up. Oh, my word. Joy bubble. Right, Juliet? She wishes I would have taken her. Um, so anyway, um, I really enjoyed that. I treated myself to some nachos, but I really, really enjoyed that. And then let's see what else is going on. That's pretty much it. I am, as I said, I'm working on two babies. And when I finish, I got some lovely Christmas gifts. I got a bookcase that I'm going to turn into a house for Pip and her sister, who's on her way from Russia. Pip is my, um, for those of you who don't know, is my Blythe doll that I was uh, given for my birthday. She was created and gifted to me by Myra at Myra's Little Bugs. And um, I am just so in love with her. Oh, look at you, Juliet. I combed all her hair down and I put this sweet little headband on her that has a little pink, looks like a chrysanthemum, and a, and a cream-colored rose and a gray-colored flower with a little white a little diamond in it. I still need to pierce your ears, don't I, darling? I've never done that. Oh, she's so sweet. We're going to leave you here. No, let's go put you back with with your best friend, Miss Abigail. Um, so, and I also was gifted um, a little armoire that will hold um, Calcadon's clothes. So I'm going to, I've t given myself permission when I finish the two babies I'm working on to take a week off. And then I have several other personal projects I want to work on. Um, I'm not really great at just dropping everything and doing things for myself. So I'm going to take a vacation. Like I'm staying at home to do projects that I want to get done. So, there you have that. <laughs> anyway, um, let's all enjoy Lucy Ray for a moment while I tidy things up. She says, hi, Mommy. Happy New Year. Oh, bless her. Poor Eo here got smashed under all the clothes. Um, so, anyway, so I have some upcoming projects. I also, as I mentioned before, I want to make a video uh, with the, the baby that I got at the resale. So, I have not forgotten about that. I did take her out of here today. I forgot the other day, or last time I made a video. But um, I will be doing that soon. Um, let's see. Now we can pan around the room. Got the pile of clothes that I'll need to put away there. So let's see. We've not seen Vijanier. She's there with her baby doll and Zipporah, all snug as a bug in a rug. And there's Malachi, and we're going to pause here at Malachi because Susie over at Rosie, oh my word, I cannot talk today, Ruby Red, no, Ruby Rose Reborns, I hope I got that right, Susie, she started um, a couple tags, one of which was to show your Laura Lee Eagles babies, which I don't have, I have a kit over there, I have Atticus kit. Um, but in terms of babies in my collection right now, I have none, but I do have this one, Bonnie Brown. Her next video in that little series she's doing was Show Your Bonnie Brown Baby. So, Susie, I have Malachi, which is the Grayson sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And I know we all love, love, love how Levi curls up. So does he. He, I mean, he has this leg is a bit straighter, but this little guy is Bonnie Brown just is amazing at creating these curly newborn babies. 
So there's my sweet Malachi. He's got his, uh, for all of you who know, this is my favorite outfit on him. He very rarely takes it off. He is here in his um, lily pad, as I call it, surrounded by all his frogs. He loves his frogs just like I do. He's got a whole little collection going on here. Bless him. I don't think there's any more room here. He's so sweet. So this is my Bonnie Brown baby. And while I'm talking about Susie, she has a giveaway going on on her channel. I watched that yesterday, Susie. I have not commented yet, but I believe that contest or that giveaway, I should call it, is ongoing through this week. But don't quote me on that. You have to go watch Susie's channel. I'll put a link down below to her Bonnie Brown video um, and then also her giveaway video. Um, and I will be commenting on that. And thank you, Susie, for having such a fun New Year's giveaway. And here is sweet Queen Isabella. There we go. And then up here we have Saffron and Sapphira. And then there's Juliet and Abigail. They're so sweet. And then down here we can't forget Jean Vieve. She says, Happy New Year, Mama Chiquita. <laughs> I think that's all my babies, right? So anyway, everybody, that's what's been going on here. And um, I know there were some tags over Christmas. I was putting videos in my watch later. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Um, I was putting videos in my watch later. And when my mom, when I came back from taking my mom home and had time, I, I can't even tell. I had to go delete it. Uh, there were... Oh, no, I can't even tell you. I forget the number. There were a lot, hundreds of videos. So I kind of had to pick up where things were, so I have missed a lot. I have seen some new babies joining the community. Congratulations to everybody who has gotten new babies, whether you got them for yourself or you got them as a Christmas gift. Congratulations. I've seen silicones and reborns alike, so congratulations, everybody, and welcome to all your babies. Um, we welcome them into the community. and um, But again, I, I haven't watched everybody's box openings, I'll be honest. Um, but I can't pick up. I've talked about this before. Um, it's just impossible because then while you're catching up, new videos are going up and then you're constantly behind. So um, back in the beginning, I used to try to do that and I found it overwhelmed me. So I just pick up where I can and I've been starting to leave some comments on videos. There were some videos I was watching when my mom was here that I tried to comment on or I just gave a thumbs up. Um, but anyway, so I'm back a little bit more into normal routine, as I said. Um, so that's wonderful. Um, weather update. Um, I am in the Midwest and we had quite the snowfall over the weekend. It started snowing on Friday evening and it didn't stop till Saturday evening. So it snowed for about 26, 27 hours. Um, I would guess we have somewhere between 12 and 16 inches out there. I don't know. It's a lot, a lot of snow. I took a photo of the final snow and I will attach it to the end of this video. It is actually our bird bath. So you can see because there's nothing around it. So it's not like snow drifts. Whereas like on the side of the cars, the snow drifted up like three feet because, you know, of course the wind was blowing it and it had the car to pile up against only on one side, um, which happened to be the passenger side, thankfully. Um, but you can see that the snow is just about maybe not even an inch from the base of the of the bird bath. The whole stem is covered. And then, of course, sitting on top of the bird bath, you can see the depth. So I'll, I will try to remember to attach that at the end of this video. Um, so we had to dig out, ladies. It's true. Um, so on Sunday... Uh, we went out there and shoveled and put salt down. And then yesterday, after I finished all my housework, I thought, and Monday's also garbage pickup day, I thought, oh, let me walk down because it already come, pull up the garbage can, and I'm going to take the salt out and sprinkle a little more salt down because there was a lot of wet patches now. The snow had dissolved from the salt, but I didn't, in case it got cold, I didn't want that to all become ice, the whole driveway. 
and I noticed as I was walking down to get the garbage can that the city had come by and plowed the street, which now left about 10, maybe 12, probably about 10 inches of compacted plow snow at the foot of our driveway. So I got the shovel and I dug all that out and then I finished. We had not done the sidewalk in front of our house on Sunday. We had done everything else. So I did that sidewalk, my little couple minutes to bring up the garbage can and add a little more salt. I was out there for over an hour, um, probably close to an hour and a half. And I got all that done. And I'll tell you, I'll remember when I told you I ordered four bags of salt, 50 pounds each. Well, one 50 pound bag is gone. And I'm already into the second bag. So that's how much snow was out there. Um, so luckily I didn't have anywhere to go yesterday. So after I came in, I took another shower. I put jammies on. And um, then it was time to make lunch for my husband. So I did that. And then he went back to work and I started crocheting. So I did not get to paint yesterday. Um, this morning he told me he was going to go to work, have his morning meeting, and take the rest of the day off because he needs to for sure work this Saturday, but he has yet to come home. I, I was a bit lazy. Well, I don't want to say lazy. I kind of lounged this morning um, till about 10, and when he wasn't home at 10, I'm like, okay, shower, get dressed, and get your day going. Because if he came home, I'd have showered and just put new jammies on and would have relaxed with him. But um, he is still not here, and, and I worked with my my. Osmo thing for a long time. I'm guessing it's probably going on one o'clock at this point. Um, so I'm going to probably head upstairs, make some lunch, and then hopefully this afternoon, if he, he may come home and stay. And if he does, then I will not be painting. But if he does not, then I will. Otherwise, first thing tomorrow, I will be painting. Um, well, of course, after I do my chores. Um, so I'm back into my chore routine. I think I mentioned that. But anyway, um, I just wanted to come on and do kind of a semi-brief update. This is actually short. I'm about to sign off and I'm only at 32 minutes. I thought this would be an hour long. But I really did in my mind, like, Kimberly, encapsulate things. Just do the highlights. Don't be super verbose. Don't go into all these details. Um, because y'all know I can talk. Um, but anyway, it was just a really lovely visit with my mom and, um, now I am getting back into my normal routine, which y'all know I enjoy. And, um, I am a very much a creature of habit and, um, so yeah, so life is just getting back to a bit of routine for me and, um, and I don't mind throwing my routine when I have my mom here or, or friends visiting, um, I don't want it to sound like I prefer my routine over my mom. I love my mom very, very much and love having her here, but I do embrace my routine. So um, I am back to embracing that. So I just want that to be understood. Anyway, everybody. So yeah, that's what's going on here. And um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. But stay tuned. I will have a peaceful baby uh, coming soon, uh, probably in the next few weeks, hopefully. And, um, yeah, that's all that's, I can report, I believe. Anyway, everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by and staying loyal to my channel, even though I've been absent. Um, I am going to get back into my video making routine. And as I said, I have an upcoming video where I want to share a very special doll that I got at the resale shop back in November. Well, it was before Thanksgiving because I got her before my mom was here, so... I've been wanting to do that. She needed a little TLC, which I've given her, and I want to share her with y'all. Actually, I think she's going to become Queen Isabella's bunkmate. Um, right, Isabella? Shh, she's sleeping. Anyway, I really think they're going to look sweet together. Um, that's the plan for now. We'll see. But anyway, um, and then also I will just... I think, I don't know if there's any current tags. I know there were some Christmas tags, which are kind of a moot point right now because it's not Christmas anymore. But if y'all know about any tags right now that have, you know, just started, let me know and I will keep my eye open for some. <coughs> um, so yeah, that is my, uh, my update. So, um, and I do want to do a, a New Year's giveaway soon. Um, it might end up being like a Valentine sometime in February. We'll see. I have to ponder. Generally, I don't show what I'm giving away. I make it be a surprise. 
Um, but I'm trying to come up with something where either maybe I show it or maybe keep it a surprise. I'm just uh, pondering that right now. So anyway, everybody, do have a blessed day today. And remember each and every day to find something to be joyful for. Even if you're buried under snow, be joyful. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm well stocked up. I don't need to go anywhere. Oh, one more thing I got to tell y'all. I know, here I am. Um, I went to Lowe's one day last week because I needed something. And I walked in and the brand of bottled water that we purchased, even at Walmart, is just over $4. They had it on special there for just over $2. I bought 10 cases of water. And this was like, I think, Thursday. And then it snowed Friday. I'm like, well, I don't have to go anywhere. I got all this water. But anyway, y'all know I have my little my little grocery store in the basement where I have a freezer and shelves full of stuff. So I don't have to go out if I don't want to. I did start my car yesterday, and I'll probably do that again um, tomorrow, you know, every other day or something. Just run her for like five or ten minutes to make sure, you know, the engine doesn't freeze up or anything. But um, I am so blessed that I work from home and don't have to drive out in this, and I can just burrow here during the, you know, as it melts. It will take a really, we, this may sit here now for months, unless last time we got a big snow like this, my mom was here. It was right after Thanksgiving, but then the next weekend it rained for like 48 straight hours, and it took it all away, other than like the big mountains and parking, parking lots like at, you know, stores. But for, the, like, the driveway, the house, everywhere, there was no snow. So unless we get another rainstorm, which I don't see coming anytime soon, uh, we're going to be under snow for a while. So I will probably venture out later in the week because I found a fabulous online. I found a a um, a dollhouse store, like, 20 minutes away from me, and didn't that pique my interest? Um, so I'd like to go there. I found it last week and thought, oh, I'm going to go there next week. And then, of course, we got the snow. But I grew up in the Midwest, and we don't really hide from the snow, although I'm talking like I'm burrowing in my house now for months. But, you know, you throw on an extra layer of clothes, and you clean off the car, or you... I grew up in Chicago, so you just took the bus or the train. You didn't think anything of it. But um, I am blessed now that unless I have to go out, I really don't have to. Um, so I will try to get there in the next few weeks. Um, I just really want to, you know, paint. I'm really, you know, all those weeks off, I really missed it and really, really love it. So Lucy Ray sends her mommy some New Year's love. And again, find something to be joyful for, ladies, and have a very, very blessed rest of your week. Thank you so much again for stopping by, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.